for the next week tomorrow, as you all might know already. Currently, uh, at last day, Tim Tinson in Youngstown, Ohio, Supermax facility. I've been here for the past quarter of a century, 25 years. I've been in death row since 1995. Uh, it's about 20 years now. Um, I'm around. I'm around seven months left before my performance was executed. Um, I am off with, uh, Borders have been protesting, uh, trying to elevate the profile of my state, bring to awareness to the public the that the justice that has been uh, in my situation. I'm falsely accused, falsely convicted, and I've been on death row fighting uh, wrongful conviction for the past 28 years. Um, you know, for 20 of those years, I remember I took my family. President of Riot and my conviction, and we were seen around separated from the regular death row population and buried in the food mass because of where I've been. I've been there for the past 45 years. And um, a lot of that time, I have spent um, advocating on my own behalf to speak about my case in court of public opinion. Um, and it's been like an appeal back. I wrote a book in 2011 or 12 called Condemn. So, yeah, after that, it was a documentary that one of my uh, good friends put together, just, you know, just so we can educate the public about what was going on in my situation. All of you must know that.
here and speak to the power of you to tell you that we have the power of you that we have the keys to the kingdom of you so hard to believe what they need to know and for all of us are free none of us can be and to all of us are free none of us can be and to all of us are free none of us can be it took me a long time to find out what it's all about. A long time to understand how to find my way out. Find out in people who silently accept and you can find out the exact amount of injustice that will be applied. We have to draw the line. Do more than just survive. To live, we have to be willing to risk it all. That's the only way freedom can be achieved. The only way the soul can come to rest. We have to reach for the best within ourselves. So we can be free. So we can be free. So we can be free. Be free. Be free. We can be free. We love you. We love you, Neil. We love you, too. There. We will free you. We will not let these pigs do this. Yeah. Yeah. Eve? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. You want to do another one or do you want to just. We're all here in Chicago. Yeah. We're going to free you. So we're not giving up on these pigs. So, yeah. Um, I think it's this song has uh, this 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 poem has particular significance to me because it speaks about like the trajectory of my journey and the uh, understanding that I've arrived. I've arrived at it after almost thirty years in this place, reading and growing and learning about the criminal uh, justice system and capitalism. And all the other um, systems of oppression. The ground of the states. You know, in this country, most of us operate under the delusion that we live in the 21st century. That somehow, without actually doing the work, we have overcome our history. It's not true. Instead of hanging people from trees, we use the so called criminal justice system to perform legalized making and take this as a sign of progress. We confuse the form with justice. When I embarked on this journey three decades ago, I was given the choice to either plead guilty to something I didn't do or face the death penalty. I was 25 years old. And the thought that I would have to give up my life represented a great burden to me. A burden I wasn't so sure I could bear. I didn't fully understand back then that there was something more valuable than simply being alive. Although I intuitively understood that existing was not the same thing as living. I also somehow understood that in order to live with myself, I had to be true to myself. And for this, I would have to pay a hell of a price. After I was sentenced to death, I was thrown into solitary confinement. I felt as if I was thrown into the middle of the ocean. Try to imagine it. Water as far as the eye could see. And it's just you by yourself, floating. That's what solitary confinement is like. In a situation such as this, God, she 